Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of my project to build the APC from the film Aliens. The build's finally finished, and I'm proud to announce that the files are now available to purchase through my website. It's been quite a journey. What I thought was just going to be a quick build turned into something a lot more involved. From initially just wanting an accurate model of the APC for myself, I now have two models. One in 124th scale with a full interior, the other much larger in 116th scale and radio controlled. The support I've had from you guys has been tremendous. Thank you all so much. You've encouraged me to take this build further than I'd imagined and persuaded me to tackle the dropship in 124th scale as well. The dropship will come after the Milano, which is currently in space dock, patiently awaiting some TLC. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up with my progress on the Milano and on the dropship. The files for the APC include a set for the 124th scale model and a separate set for the 116th scale RC version. The majority of the resin parts come supported and unsupported, so you can start printing straight away. These are complex builds, and like my Slave 1, the APC comes with comprehensive instructions. As you can see from my channel, my builds are thoroughly tested and any adjustments are made before being released to you guys. The turrets are designed to rotate, with the main turret being able to be mounted in the stowed position on the rear of the hull in both versions. Provision is also made for lighting, should you wish to add it. The 124 scale version has a removable crew door to view the interior, as well as a driver's door that can be attached in either the open or closed positions. For the first time since the movie, an accurate radio controlled model of the APC can now be yours. My plan throughout this project has always been to design the APC so that my model can be recreated without having to chase down any rare, hard to find parts or materials. Basing the RC version on a Tamiya TTO2 chassis gives everyone the best opportunity of achieving that goal. The APC runs really well, straight off the printer, and looks fantastic. This is a big beast, and makes an awesome centerpiece to any Alien fan's collection. So if you want an APC of your own, well, now you can build one. Just head over to the Staples and Fine website, where you can purchase the files. You'll then be sent a download link, where you can retrieve them. There's a link to the website in the description. You will have noticed throughout the build that I've been using photo etched parts, stencils for the front markings, and now metal toe shackles as well. Alternatives to the photo etched parts are included in the files for resin printing, as well as an SVG file for the markings to the front of the hull. If you want to go down the detail route, the photo etching, stencils and metal toe shackles are available as an option. The pack contains enough parts to complete both a 124th and 116th APC as shown in the videos. 
The etched and cast parts are a lot more durable than the resin printed equivalents, and I'd highly recommend them if you're going down the RC route with your APC. Finally, thank you all for following me on this build. Your support has been magnificent. It's really appreciated. Stay frosty, people. I hope you enjoyed my Aliens APC build. If you did, please share with your friends and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So you catch my next video, click on the bell icon. To learn about some of the techniques I use, check out my how-to series to find out more about moulding, casting, CAD design and 3D printing. If you have any questions about this build, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.